To the untrained eye, giraffes may all look the same, but to those who study them, each one's unique. They all have a different pattern of spots. The number and shape of their markings are unique to each one. They're a bit like fingerprints. You can recognize each giraffe from its spots. Jean-Patrick has filled an entire family album, allowing him to identify each animal he comes across in the bush. You can see a huge spot in the middle of the neck. And there it is on the animal. The latest studies show that the number of giraffes is going up in Niger. Ten years ago, there were only 50 left. Now there's 170. And that's largely due to a radical change in the attitude of their human neighbors. Poaching is finished. Here, local people have become ardent protectors of their giraffes. Today we have enough information to understand the importance of giraffes, and so we look after them, as if they were our own animals. As long as they're not ill or victims of an accident, we don't touch them and wouldn't want anything to happen to them. But giraffes are far from ideal neighbors. They eat crops. And so the Association for the Protection of Giraffes in Niger gives compensation to local people and has also financed several wells. We can't secure the animals' conservation without getting local people involved. We spend more time looking after the people than looking after the giraffes themselves. The organization also provides microcredit loans to support local agriculture. We've been given interest-free loans and fertilizer. We've really benefited from a whole range of projects. Local people may no longer pose a threat, but the giraffe's future is far from secure. The population is a long way from being protected from extinction. We'd need at least 400 animals before we could say the giraffe is no longer under threat. The giraffes now face another huge problem, desertification. They're struggling to find enough to eat at the same time as their numbers and needs are growing. Some have already started to venture further afield, and several were killed recently in Nigeria.